We're unboxing the September 2023 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to the September 2023 Keto Crate unboxing. Don't forget you can get a discount on your very first Keto Crate by using the link in the description box below. Let's get into it. All right, in my periphery, I can see what looks like soda. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what this is. Ah, uh, yes, Andy, yes it is. It is supernatural, natural soda. The, the cola flavor, it is healthy soda by Keto Bear. Um, I don't know who these people are. I've tried Googling Keto Bear Inc. Can't find them. Somebody get me their email address because I love this product. It is super natural, natural soda, one can, zero calories, 11 grams of carbs. That's because the sweetener is erythritol. So the ingredients are carbonated water, erythritol, and then some natural flavors and colors and whatnot. I love you, soda. Next. Is it two or one? It's a one. Keto Farms, okay, so we can tell that this is the old branding because now they're Earthside Farms, um, but it's their butter toffee peanuts, so I am definitely, definitely here for that. One serving per container, 130 calories per serving, 11 grams of fat, nine total carb to fiber, five erythritol, so that's two grams of net carbs and five grams of protein. The ingredients are peanuts and then natural sweetener, which is erythritol and monk fruit, butter, mm, molasses, I'll, I'm here for the molasses, um, and then salt and vanilla extract. These are gonna taste delicious. Next. I saw the flat white package and I knew it was Genius Gourmet. We have snack trips, ugh, barbecue. I don't know if these were my favorite or not my favorite. I'm honestly not too much of a barbecue chip fan, but I mean, we'll try them. I mean, just look how flat, oh my goodness. One serving per container, 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, five total carb, three fiber, so that's two net carbs per package, eight grams of protein. Uh, ingredients, MCT protein blend, which is soy protein concentrate and sodium caseinate. Okay, I don't know what that is. Tapioca starch, water, soy fiber, you know, just a bunch of fibers and whatnot. I'm excited to see it. I love the texture of these chips. So let's see how I feel about the flavor. Next, I did see the blue package in my periphery as well. Ooh, mini cookies. And this time they are chocolate mint. I'm here for a chocolate mint. Like I love chocolate mint. Comment down below. Do you like chocolate mint? I feel like that's kind of like a divisive subject. So I wanna know your thoughts. Okay, serving size they have per container and per serving, love it. For the whole container, 260 calories, 24 grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, five fiber, 16 erythritol, so that's three grams of net carbs for this package, and then six grams of protein. The ingredients, almond flour, erythritol, and then butter, and then coconut oil, and cocoa powder and some other stuff. So, I mean, this this is pretty pure ingredients. Um, let's see, let's see what the mint's hitting like. Next. Mmm, sinless snacks. Someone else I've also been trying to get in contact with. Come on, Keto Crate, I need your contact list. Like, let's go. Um, I'm excited to see these marshmallow crisps. Uh, yeah, marshmallow flavor, of course. All right, I'm pretty sure this is like protein based for one serving, 80 calories, three and a half grams of fat, 13 total carbs, six fiber. And then I'm imagining there's some allulose in there. Yeah, so two net carbs and then nine grams of protein. Yeah, this is gonna be very proteiny. Dairy protein crisps, which is made from milk protein isolate, soluble tapioca fiber, almond butter. Hmm. Interesting, almond butter, allulose, erythritol, and some other stuff. Um, I'll be interested to try it. Next, 
What is this? Is a bar? Ah, <sighs> monk pack. Love monk pack. Always will love monk pack. This is the coconut cocoa chip. There is 140 calories, 13 grams of fat, 12 total carb, four fiber, five and a half allulose, 0.5 glycerin. Okay, so two grams of net carbs and then four grams of protein. Ingredients, almonds, coconut, allulose, and then soluble tapioca fiber, corn fiber, palm kernel oil, vegetable glycerin, blah, blah, blah. These taste delicious, happy to see them. Next, mm, feels like a big box. Looks like, feels like two big boxes. First big box, oh, Duncan Hines. Once again, with the multinational brands. I'm not mad, Duncan Hines. Okay, keto friendly uh, blueberry muffin mix. Oh my gosh, I loves me a blueberry muffin. What do you have to add to this? You will need, ooh, one third cup canola oil. <laughs> no, we will not. Um, four large eggs and one tablespoon water. The tablespoon of water seems really interesting. Like how much will that really impact it? But we'll see. Okay, preheat the oven to 375, mix everything together. Uh, mix nine muffins uh, and bake for 18 to 21 minutes. I mean, I'm not mad. I, I mean, I'm mad at the canola oil, but I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, so nutrition facts. Um, per baked muffin, because why, why do we care about the mix? 220 calories, 14 grams of fat, 18 total carb, whoa! Five fiber, five sugar alcohol. I would imagine there's some other sweetener in there too. Yeah, there's allulose as well. Uh, and then five grams of protein. So three net carbs per uh, prepared muffin. Okay, and then we have ingredients, almond flour, erythritol, coconut flour, allulose, inulin, blueberries, then contains less than 2% of baking soda, acacia gum, salt, xanthan gum. Yeah, so it's using the gums to thicken this. I'm not mad. I mean, besides the canola oil, which you get to decide what to put in here, um, these ingredients aren't bad at all. Okay, ConAgra, I see you, Duncan Hines. Not mad, not mad at all. Okay, and then I do see finally a big box and that's it. Oh yeah, 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 I'll take this. I will take this all day, or a day. It is Catalina Crunch Chocolate Vanilla Sandwich Cookies. So we've had these before. We've loved these before. Um, eight servings per container because a serving is two cookies. Eh. At minimum three, probably eating four, which makes, you know, two servings of this. Per serving, 90 calories, six grams of fat, 12 total carbs, three fiber, two of sugar. They just, add, they straight up added sugar in this. Um, and then four grams of allulose. So is that five net carbs? I don't know. I mean, who's counting? I'm not counting. So four grams of protein. So the ingredients, the number one ingredient is palm fruit oil by weight and then allulose by weight and then pea protein and then cane sugar and then cassava flour chicory root fiber tapioca starch i mean these aren't the cleanest ingredients but then again you're eating a sandwich cookie so what are what are we going for here right like these taste delicious that's all that matters and i'm gonna be excited to eat them on smash the crate okay that was it this seems like it went pretty quick but i mean we got some boxes. I'm pretty much the only, I'm gonna say new thing in here was the Duncan Hines blueberry muffin mix. Everything else, well, also the sinless snacks, I guess. But I mean, everything else, high key, genius gourmet, keto farms, even, even keto bear, like we've seen this before. Not bad, um, not really nothing super duper new, but I'm, I'm here for it. We're going to try these on Smash the Crate and we're also going to draw the winner for this keto crate so once again you can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on this crate 
or you can comment down below and let me know what product you would be excited to try or what products out of this keto crate you have tried. Like I said, it's a lot of repeats, right? Um, and your comment will enter you in a drawing to win this keto crate. Uh, and we're going to draw the winner over on smash the crate. So that's the monthly series where me and my husband and mom try all of these items. I feel like it's going to go quick. There's not a lot to try. Unfortunately, we're not going to make the, the muffin mix, but the ingredients looked pretty good. If you make the muffin mix, like comment down below and let me know how they are. Cause I would be very, very interested to know. Okay guys, that's all the time we have for today. Catch us over on smash the crate. Bye.